marking devices you might want to use for your woodworking. Hola woodworkers, Paul Carlson here, small workshop guy. Welcome back to my workshop. I did an earlier video about marking uh, devices, what you use to mark lines, and kind of did a test on which ones sand away uh, quickest and which ones you might not want to use on certain applications. This is an update because I have found a new secret weapon. I'll disclose that to you at the end. So, uh, marking up 101. When you've got a rough 2x4, 2x6, uh, you haven't run it through a planer of any kind, it's got a rough edges on it, you're just doing uh, rough cuts, then just mark it with uh, a contractor's pencil or go to your kid's bedroom and steal uh, number two uh, school pencil. Those will work. Another one you might want to use if, if uh, it, you don't mind the, the dark line and, it, and if uh, it's not too hard to get rid of, certainly for just rough applications, uh, could be a Sharpie. Don't use a Sharpie for too many things because that's a very broad line and so should it only be for rough cuts. You might want to use a Sharpie uh, if you're going to do something on a bandsaw and you want a nice, uh, very visible line to try to keep your bandsaw blade on the inside or outside of that line. So that's certainly good. The problem is the point to a Sharpie uh, gets really broad after just a few uses. So if I need a black line, what I have started using is this uh, Pilot razor point and it's pretty really really small let me uh, put it beside this and mark it and so you can see the comparison there between that black one and and the other Sharpie so I, I keep both of those around in the sharp depending on the application I, I really like that one when you uh, are gonna do anything on roof, rough, roof, roof, <laughs> on rough wood, <laughs> uh, you probably don't wanna be using a five millimeter mechanical pencil designed for your INCRA marking devices. Because the minute you start to mark on that rough wood with your five millimeters, I can guarantee you it's gonna break 95% of the time. I get so frustrated with it. I'll get that ink all set up. I'll find the right little spot here. I'll start to drag it across my workpiece only to feel or see that uh, little five millimeter lead uh, break. Uh, so uh, I've got a new secret weapon. It won't work for the ink so I still keep this in my work best when I'm going to use the ink I have to suffer through that. But for 95% of my other just normal marking, I have this weapon. This is called the Graph Gear 1000. It has a very nice area to hold on to with some little rubber uh, things that make it feel nice in your hand. It just looks good. It um, uses nine millimeter lead which doesn't break and it's still fine enough to certainly do your applications and so uh, that is my go-to look at that i can go back and forth and not break let me try that with the five millimeter oh, went a couple inches and then it broke so i love this i highly recommend it get one on amazon for nine dollars try it let me know if you ended up liking it and stayed with it. I liked it so much I went back to, because I know I'm going to lose it and I went back and bought uh, a set of three uh, to go along with the one that's in my work vest. Obviously if you're marking on dark wood you might want to use something that's white and so I have found this set of uh, gel pins. Uh, they, they sand off pretty readily uh, they seem to work well. I tried some soft graphite drawing pencils and they broke so easy I was so frustrated. So these gel pens uh, are from DAI 
Excuse me. D-A-I-N-A-Y-N. Dane, Danian. And uh, again, they're not graphite lead. They're a gel. And they do a really nice job. You can see how visible that is. So uh, I've got a whole set of those. Again, my old buddy Amazon. Um, obviously, when you're need a really fine line you don't want to use any of these you can get a finer line by having your scribing knives and uh, I've, this one's from Narex this one's from eye, eye gauging uh, try to keep those points sharp use the flat edge not the one with the bevels on it I'll, so the flat edge goes along your ruler and uh, the secret there, when you're particularly working with something that's got a lot of grain, is to pull across lightly the first few times. It'll be making some marks and breaking that grain, and then finally you can press harder if it's something where you're going to want to put a chisel in the line and you want that chisel to find the line. So, that's uh, Woodworking Marking Devices 101. I hope if you're a beginner, you found that helpful. Small Workshop Guy, signing off.